What up guys, Astro Manny here, back at it again with another video on a, another comfy first Ascendant build here. And uh, this time, as you can see, we are on the beautiful one and only Viesa. And um, we are going to chill it up today and uh, show you how to use the snow, the snow Queen and be fancy and comfy and get into business, right? All right, so you guys know what to do. If you guys like this sort of thing, make sure you hit that like button, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let's get right into the build. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those down in the comments and um, whatnot. You can also hit the notification bell so you can see when I go live, which is just about every single day. And um, yeah, hit that join button down below if you want to become a member and go that extra mile and support me on my journey of becoming a full-time content creator thank you guys so much for your love and support here we are with our amazing viesa ultimate viesa and again this is another comfy do it you do it all build this is kind of a build that you can do anything in dungeons farming colossus however you want to do it um it's a very comfy build it's got lots and lots of dps every build i show you is going to have amazing great dps but um it's also going to keep you alive. It's not going to be the greatest maximum DPS build to where you're one-shotting things all the time because we I don't like to build glass cannons and tell people how to make glass cannon builds. I do run glass cannons myself um, here and there, but I'm not I don't like to recommend glass cannon builds because you can't just copy a build and just, you know, go out there and expect to get results and die in the process because you're a glass cannon so here we are i kind of use the same weapons on most of my characters because these are my favorite weapons i do use the thunder cage here and there but this is the build um just the the of course like you can't see anything right now but this is just you know the start of it here we do uh have nearly seven th uh, seventeen thousand hp on viesa and on the low side, we only have 10,000 defense. That's because this is a do-it-all kind of uh, dungeon grinding build and, and wave clear build. But um, the 17,000 HP makes us very comfy for taking even this build into a Colossus fight. But I do have a very specific build that I run for Colossus on VS that changes um, ever so slightly. And let's get into talking about that kind of stuff. So here is our modules. Now again, my Viesa is decked out. Um, this is probably my main character, and I'm showing this as my second video on First Ascendants because the first one was the hype of Valby and everything. But Viesa is my main, and Oliver the Ice is amazing and whatnot. So she's decked out. Um, just about every single thing is catalyzed or uh, every single slot has a module slot, but um, I do leave a little bit of room for diversity and whatnot, and I try to have that ability in my builds. So we're gonna talk about the build, and then we're going to cut it down and t um, tell you what I would do if I didn't have a fully decked out Viesa and what mods I would cut from the list, right? So as always, we're gonna start from the left and go to the right. So, um, First off, Hypothermia is by far VS's best skill, so you should always be running Hypothermia. 99% um, of the time you should be running Hypothermia. It works on both Ultimate VS and regular VS, so there should be no issue there. You should get in Hypothermia and get that maxed out. Um, I always run Midair Maneuvering on my Descendants, so that is why we have Midair Maneuvering as usual. Okay, so starting off here, we have time distribution, which gives us um, a course cooldown reduction, which I think is the best skill in the game. Cooldown reduction is the best skill in the game, guys. It really is the best skill in the game. With a little bit of added max HP. Then we have our um, ever amazing MP collector, so that you can keep up on your mana and whatnot. Um, a big whopping 218% increased HP with the increased HP mod. Focus on chill for our main damage and, of course, again, more cooldown. Um, some people will ask me, well, why do you run focus on chill instead of chill specialist or anything of that? I always run my focus element because I want that extra 6% cooldown. The chill specialist is going to give me 81% 
power of chill. So I'm only losing 4% of power for a total of 6% cooldown, which in the end, that's more damage. The cooldown 6% is more important than the 3% skill power. That's just my opinion. It's the way it is. All right. Then we have Spear and Shield. It's a very staple defense item, right? Spear and Shield is almost good on almost every single person. And then we have our emergency measures for our crit damage and uh, whatnot. And then we have skill expansion for our range, nimble fingers for even more cooldown, and then front lines for more critical damage and crit rate, and then battle stamina for even more HP and a little bit of added on duration. Okay, so that gives us a whopping 400% maximum HP, solid 90% defense, and then that uh, negative 46 cooldown reduction. So very pretty there, love it. It does great. Um, all this extra text is just the uh, hypothermia and minor maneuvering. So anyways, what I would do to cut if I wasn't a fully decked out Viesa, right? Um, definitely you can cut some of your critical hits. Like you don't need front lines and emergency measures. If you need to take both emergency measures and front lines off, it's gonna kind of hurt your damage quite a bit but it is what it is you have to do what you got to do so if you have to take off some stuff you take off the crit damage um, if you need to take even more stuff off of course mp collector could come off because um, you just have to manage your mana better if you don't have the extra slots for mp collector and then on top of that if you were going way 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 cut back you can drop battle stamina because you don't need that well it would, it's nice to have that 100%, 122% maximum HP. The duration isn't doing all too much. So if you needed to cut something back, battle stamina can go back. Um, time distribution is questionable. Like you could change this out. It is my flex mod, but uh, that extra 14% cooldown reduction is glorious. So I'm a big cooldown fan, as you can see. My number one skill are frost shards, of course, is all the way reduced to 3.3 seconds in cooldown reduction and then our frost road is <laughs> a crazy 11 second cooldown which means we always have frost roads up by a huge margin of error um, and then our big hit of cold snap is only a nine second cooldown and our monstrous monstrous ultimate is only a 28 second cooldown the blizzard right absolutely insane that's the vs build let's get into the rest of the stuff in the thing but like i said you could run this on both ultimate vs or regular vs if you need to get some things i've given you my recommendations um, on top of that next we're going to move on to the reactor so this is a pretty god mode reactor here this uh, clairvoyance because we're going to actually showcase the clairvoyance in this video the clairvoyance is an absolute beast and with viesa it's an absolute god weapon um, so we'll talk about that and show that off here a little bit my clairvoyance is not absolutely like decked out so um it's almost like really it's base kind of other than the fact that it's got an activator and one catalyst so um, i'll talk about that in a second but this is the reactor it's absolutely busted that gives us that amazing cooldown reduction and then of course our ice extra bonus damage um, I do have my enduring legacy that I run in boss fights and whatnot um, for this one which is an insane enduring legacy reactor 2 as you can tell VS is my main so I kind of have really really good stuff on her um, something I didn't mention is my other builds if you want to take a quick pause on the menu here is the Colossus build I run and I don't even think I have a setting 3 I just have a main build and then a Colossus build it's basically the same thing I just changed out for more defense and dangerous ambush it's kind of a recurring thing for most of my builds but we'll go more into detail in this build in a future when we fight Colossus this is a dungeon farming build and a comfy fun good time build so we'll talk about that in the future um, guns, Enduring Legacy, and Clairvoyance, and the Afterglow uh, Sword, Sniper Rifle. Enduring Legacy is super decked out. We're probably not even going to use Enduring Legacy in this fight, but if you need that extra firepower, it's 
it's here. Um, you again always have your four main mods: active reaction, rifle reinforcement, better insight, better concentration, and then your fifth mod of always the fire rate up. As I can show you in my clairvoyance build, I have that same thing: active reaction, rifle reinforcement, better concentration, and better insight. I also have my fire rate up. It's a little bit different when you're running a beam rifle. You want to have super conduct um, conductivity, so you get that beam rifle charge speed up. And um, a magazine addition is always really good on a beam rifle. Again, as you can see, this has only been a catalyst once because it only has the three module slots. So do be aware of that. I can make this a lot stronger. I'm working on it. It's going to be amazing. And now let's go to the final part of components. As you can see here, I'm running all four Polar Knight processors or Polar Knight sets, which gives me the full Viesa bonus set of having the added 6% chill power, along with the four set bonus of having for each Frostbite stack inf inflicted upon enemies, your critical damage, firearm critical damage is 1.7%, skill critical damage is 6%, up to 10 stacks for 5 second duration and a 30% chance. This is just Viesa's set. Um, you get this from running Dead Bride over and over and over and over and over. So if you find a really good set of this, then that is awesome. I'm still working on the perfect version of this set, but um, I think the set I have on now is pretty solid. As you can see here, we have max HP, max HP for a whopping like 1400 added HP just from this one component. And um, your, and then here for our second one, we have max MP and MP recovering combat. I wish I had a little bit more max MP on this one, but it, I got the gold MP recovering combat, which is really great on top of that. So um, these are basically really good, perfect drops. Well, not perfect, but really good drops. Um, and then the Polar Knight, you all just need to make sure that you have your defense on it and um, whatnot. So that's really solid there. And then your last one as your processor. This one really doesn't matter. Max shields and recovery modifier is what you want. But this one doesn't matter because it doesn't really get any good rolls that I would consider to make or break the build. You just need to make sure you have your defense on here, your HP on here, and your mana max MP on here. And that gets you your stats of somewhere around here if you have all these combinations of things that I have on the character. So let's go test it out, have some fun, and show you how the Ice Queen does the business right so uh questions concerns leave them in the comment that's the build i don't know if i'm forgetting things when i'm talking about these builds but that's that's it i'm doing my best i mean i could show you things like the info right um how much actual sk chill skill power boost we're getting which is humongous um and things like this like our critical hit right our critical hit rate on our skills is about 29% and our skill critical damage is 2.3 um, our cooldown is 0.5 and our and things like this like I could show all this stuff off I don't know how important this is to people uh, with the clairvoyance is stats over here and whatnot but uh, yeah uh, we don't have any resistances because I don't really do resistances unless I'm fighting the Colossus so yeah Let's get into it. Oh, some random person here is uh, playing the bongos with us while we are giving our guide with the guide. That's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang out with the guide all the time when we're gu guiding you guys on our guide. Anyways, let's go do a dungeon. Um, I'm going to be farming for enduring legacy pieces, so the dungeon I am going after is going to be holding an enduring legacy piece. I don't know exactly what is in store for me in this fight. I think it's fun to give you guys a live commentary on something I'm not really expecting to happen. So I think it's more fun that way. I think this is the exact piece we're looking for. The Pattern 76, which has um, the Enduring Legacy piece with only 10% drop. It's kind of lame, but it is what it is. That's really the best choice. There is no way to get this piece at a better than 10% drop, which is really lame, um, as far as I know. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and change our modifiers. 
this is uh, I don't remember I don't recall right off the top of my head what dungeon this is so we'll just see how we go in we are gonna oh nope that has grappling hook disabled so we're gonna not use that one um, that one has jump disabled remember I don't take them if they have spread disabled jump disabled or gravity hook disabled we're looking for something around the lines of this minus 16 percent fire arm damage is fine with me because I like to use my skills more often when I'm Viesa anyways I want more than 200 percent but for the sake of time we're just going to go ahead and take the 200 percent that we got here and start our mission so let's get into this let's have some fun and enjoy our comfy Viesa build that just annihilates anything that she looks at it really does like I, I dude guys don't sleep on Viesa she's she's the ice queen of amazingness Check this, check this out, okay? So I run this with the clairvoyance when I'm doing dungeon fighting. It doesn't really matter if you're running HQ clairvoyance, thunder cage, dream legacy, Zephyr. whatever your choice is, you can just do whatever. But I, you know, just run through and just ice everything. So it doesn't matter. We're just gonna basically spam our, um, we're going to spam our Q or our 1 whenever it's up. This is going to get a little bit messy here. We'll drop an alt a little bit for some extra AOE protection here. Really comfy. Um, every time your uh, ice roads is available, you go ahead and pop it because it's your ice roads. It makes you run faster, gives you more mobility, and why not so it's always a good thing to just have oh it's this dungeon this is the one where you gotta have the stupid shield bot okay so I I remember this dungeon quite well uh, we'll do what we can to try to keep this process running it's kind of a short dungeon um, so it shouldn't be too bad but we're gonna have to break out here because our shields are down anyways but go ahead and run through and kill everything and whatnot this guy's got a lot of HP there we go get our shield up kill this guy so the great thing about the clairvoyance is just like its abilities that it has like the fact that it slows the enemies and it like real real slows the enemies and since we're playing the ice queen herself you know it's just an added extra bit of frost damage frostbite so it all goes well it all works very well together we're going to be running out of shields here so we're going to step off let's see if these enemies have spawned in yet yeah, i don't think they have um, i could definitely use a bit more shield modifier to have our shields come up faster that would be nice especially if i would have known that this was the mission that we're running I was not aware that this was going to be the mission we're running, but whatever. Anyways, as you can see, the mana is also not an issue with my setup, so you can really just spam the crap out of things. Even your um, your ultimate, your, your your four ability, your blizzard, it can be spammed just like anything else you have in this build, because mana is definitely not an issue when you're playing VSO with the setup like the one I have. It just makes her an awesome, fun character to run in dungeons and whatnot. Because you're not just playing bunny and, and things are just dying um, before you see them. You're actually getting into combat and, you know, throwing, a, throwing some man maneuvers around, flipping around, shooting your gun, using your skills, going pew pew pew, going whoa, what up dude, and then, you know, to pew 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 and whatnot <laughs> uh, but yeah you just use your one as much as possible and just really just spam all your skills because they come off cooldown so quick all right so we got a uh, homeboy over there homeboy right there and then this should be the end of having the shield bro him um, with frost road you could even set up like if you know the spawns like you could set up the frost roads in the spawn location right so like i know that these guys are going to spawn here so like i could just set up frost roads right here and 
get kills a little bit quicker by putting frost roads. It's not as good as like a Valby right drop or whatever, but it still does the job. And we just keep on doing our thing. Have some fun here. Use our frost roads around. Anybody that gets through. Oh, are they attacking the thing? <laughs> Alright, cool, 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 that. And I could just drop my ultimate down here, and I'm, I'm just saving it for the um, big guy that comes out like that. And I'll drop the crossroad on it. Or the, uh... These guys are really tanky. I don't know what is the... I didn't pay too much attention to the modifiers, but man, these modifiers are making these guys tanky. Still no issues, very comfy. Whenever we use the skill, things die unless they're like a super, super tanky elite, apparently. <laughs> that is one of the tankier elites, the big fat guys. <laughs> like, I mean, the, I mean, that's what they are, right? They're the tanks, right? So. And we are we're already in the boss room. It's a real quick dungeon. Real quick. Run through, get your kills. And basically, have some fun. Throw some cues around. Throw some of that. Really comfy. Never in danger of being killed at all. Never in danger of running out of uh, mana or anything. So we just keep our frost roads up. Run around for two seconds. Do a little bit of spray here. Put, drop another ice shard strike. You know, all that wonderfulness. Throw it easy. Get the big guy coming in. Throw a, throw a shard there. Say hello to these guys up here. Keep your frost roads up. Grab everything you need. Keep spamming those skills. He's got HP up and regeneration. These guys are like pain in the butt. He is tanky. <laughs> If you need to pull out like Enduring Legacy or something for the really tanky guys, that's definitely an option. Uh, but yeah, so so the, the boss is going to spawn any second. We're just going to drop a lizard on top of him and it's basically going to handle most of him. Because our blizzard just hits so hard. I feel like this is tankier than normal. Must be some kind of modifier on this mission that I'm missing or something because I feel like he's way tankier than normal. And if you use your clairvoyance on the boss, you see it does a good amount of damage. I'm not even paying attention to these things that are hitting me. Look how tanky I am. I'm just like, yeah, bro. So we'll drop a blizzard on in the middle of here so that it takes care of everybody, hopefully. It didn't seem to get everybody. It was a little bit of a misplacement by me. But do that. Let's wait for our blizzard to come back up. Keep toying with the guy. We, like I said, we could go and swap to Enduring Legacy. <laughs> Just take no damage, period. And look at the damage we can do with the Dome Legacy, or we could drop our Frost Bubble back on. I forgot to swap the Clairvoyance for the extra damage boost to dropping the Blizzard back on, but whatever. This boss is a little annoying. A little annoying. So we'll swap back the Clairvoyance so we get our boost. Keep our Frost Roads up. here get our kills on the dudes and continue to get knocked back because I'm just playing like trash but the great thing about this build is you can play like trash and have no problem right so we'll drop a blizzard down easy peasy spam our skills get those big hits off make sure he gets hit by the blizzard blast just gonna do some attacks here run around him, hit him for massive crits, and just basically play with the guy because we're invincible. 
Look at that Should damage. Complain. You just let Move that up. clairvoyance just go down. You just hold it down and it's just monstrous damage. Okay. So how do we do for score? I think for this one, um, oh, I didn't get the score, but I ended up getting only one pattern, but I did get a stabilizer. So this is why I said the 200% is not okay with me. I needed a little bit more than 200% to get what I wanted. But in the end, <laughs> there was no danger of dying, no danger of not having the damage needed, and I uh, had a lot of fun. So that's, that's uh, the power of this very comfy Viesa build. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Smash that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all those wonderful things. Thank you guys so much. This is Asher Manny signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, see you next time. Adios. Peace of Bye-bye.